Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG size box. For example, I've set a size box with an image inside of it in our canvas panel for a demonstration. The image itself is set up to be 50 by 50 and is stretch based on its content, which you will see is a 50 by 50 box on our screen. The size box I've set to size to content because if I did not, it would be larger than 50 by 50 because I have a size of X and Y here. So, first thing, we have our width and height override. By checking these, it will override the requested width and height from the children to be whatever we have set here. So in this case, we set it to 200 by 200. If we wanted it to be 400 by 400, we would type that in. So, width override lets you override any children's requested width. Now, we have the minimum desired width and the minimum desired height you'll notice our box is now changed in size. Minimum desired width will take effect if the requested width and height of the child, in this case 50 and 50, is smaller than the minimum desired width and height. If we change this 25 by 25, you'll notice our image goes back to 50 by 50 because 25, we're requesting it to be smaller than it actually wants to be we set this to 100, you'll notice it now wants to be 100 as its minimum desired width and height. Maximum desired width and height. Well, nothing changed. This sets the maximum value if the widget is requesting a size larger. So if we uncheck this, <laughs> we go in here and set this to 500 by 500. We now have a 500 by 500 sized image as requested. If we go in and change our maximum desired width and height to 300 by 300, this will overwrite because the requested children's width and height is greater than our maximum desired width and height. You will find the size box is useful if you need to fit something within certain size constraints, but you want to allow it to resize up to or below certain amounts.